Hello everyone, I am back with another video. In this video, I will install macOS High Sierra on my latest custom PC. You can also watch my previous Hackintosh videos by clicking the on-screen links. In this build, I have latest 8th generation Intel Core i7-8700K clocked at 4.3GHz. Asus Prime Z370P 16GB of Corsair Vengeance RGB memory, Mighty MSI Lightning X 1080Ti and Samsung SSD 850 EVO. Everything assembled in Shiny NZXT S340 Elite case. For cooling I have Corsair HATI GT liquid cooler and IGO C5 RGB fans. Before we start, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notification of new videos. First of all, you need a 16GB flash drive for installation. Download Unibeast, Multibeast and Clover Configurator from the link given in description. To create the bootable USB, you need a MacBook or a Mac compatible computer. Plug in the flash drive, open disk utility and format the drive to macOS extended journal using JUID partition map. You can name flash drive to whatever you want. Now open Unibeast, download it from the link in description. Agree to the terms. Select your flash drive and click continue. Select Hi Sierra and click continue. Now select UAFI boot mode if you have the latest motherboard as in this video. Or you can select legacy boot mode if UAFI is not supported. Click continue. Now inject ATI on NVIDIA if you are installing macOS High Sierra on computer with dedicated GPU. If you have Vega 64 or AMD GPU select ATI or if you have 1080 Ti or any other NVIDIA GPU select NVIDIA. I will leave it as it is as I didn't install my NVIDIA graphic card while installing this. Click continue. Review everything and click continue again. Now enter your password and wait for 10 to 15 minutes until the process is completed. Now click quit. Now open EFI partition of the flash drive. Now open EFI partition of the flash drive, open config file using Clover Configurator, go to SM BIOS and select a configuration that matches your system specifications. Click OK, review it and save the config file. Now copy EFI OK, Unibeast, Multibeast and Clover Configurator to the flash drive. I will add link in video description for the EFI folder. Copy any additional softwares or drivers required in post installation to your flash drive. Another thing you must do is to avoid any issues during installation. Go to flash drive, right click on the macOS Hi Sierra installer, click on show package contents, delete version.plist file from there. Make sure all files are there in the flash drive, now eject the flash drive and get ready for the next step. Plug in the flash drive to your custom computer. Now go to BIOS. First of all, load optimize defaults from advanced settings, disable CFG lock and VTD tech.
save changes and reboot your system. Now boot from flash drive at clover screen select install from install Mac OS High Sierra. From the setup screen, go to Disk Utility, format your SSD to macOS Extended Journal using GUID Partition Map. I am naming it as macOS High Sierra SSD for future reference. Now go back and select install macOS from the setup screen. Click continue and agree to the terms. System will restart after few minutes. After restart, boot from macOS High Sierra SSD instead of install macOS High Sierra. Installation will take around 20 minutes and system will restart twice. Boot from SSD again and do the initial setup.
go in about mac section you will see that graphic memory is only 7 mb there for this we have to do the post installation you can use two different methods for post installation first method is to use multi beast open multi beast and select uefi boot mode go to drivers in audio select alc 887 in ethernet select realtek rtl 8111 in usb select third party usb 3.0 now go to customize in graphic options select intel hd 600 series and intel graphics fix up in system definition select imac 17.1 go to build and click on install enter your password to continue installation wait for installation to complete and then eject the flash drive your custom mac is now ready to use Other method is to use EFI files that we copied at the time of USB creation. Simply mount EFI partitions using Clover and copy EFI files to the EFI partition of SSD. If you are unable to see the partition for SSD, download and install Clover in the SSD drive. Eject the USB drive. Your custom Mac is now ready to use. I decided to do some benchmarks on this build. First I tested Geekbench. I have installed Intel Power Gadget to check the temperature and clock speed. Wow! This processor scored almost 25,000 points on Geekbench at 4.3 GHz. Next I tested Signbench R15. This processor scored 1413 sign bench points at 4.3 GHz. I wasn't able to get stable 5 GHz overclock on this motherboard, so I will try that on another one. Wow! Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.